We'll guide you through how to download and install Silda shaders in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Silda shaders can really enhance the look of Minecraft. They're one of my favorite shader packs out there, so let's go and get them. First of all, you need to go and quit off the game. Here we are on my desktop, and then what we need to do is go and open up a web browser, just like so. I'll use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. So to go and run shaders, we need to get something called Optifine. So what we're going to do is go and type it in like so, O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E, and come to Optifine.net. Once you're here, you need to go to the top and click on Downloads. What I like to do is just go and get the latest one here, which is this top one. So you can go and click on download like so. You'll go and get taken to an ad wall. So just be aware if you see a download button, it's for the ad. To go and get to the Optifine download, you need to click on the skip button in the top right, and then you can click on download like so. And it's now downloading. Now, before we get any further, I want to say a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. If you're interested, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So there'll be a link down below, which you can go and check out to get straight here. They've got a lot of awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, and much more as well. So a big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. But to continue with the guide, what we need to then do is get Silder shaders. So open up a new tab and I like to go and use CurseForge to go and get shaders and other things from Minecraft from. So come to curseforge.com. Select Minecraft and you can click on search and you can go and type in Silders and they should then appear. As you can see, Silders Vibrant Shaders. Click there. You can scroll through the description, but to go and download them, go over to the right and click on files. You can then scroll through here and see the different files. So the main difference is, is going to be from extreme to light. Extreme is going to re require a very high end computer, whereas light needs a low end and you've got everything in between. You can also go and see the game version as well. So in this case, I'm going to go and get the high option. So I'll come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file like so. We're now on the download page and we can wait. Now go and open up your file explorer like so and click on downloads over to the left. What you then need to do is go and run Optifine like so. Double click on it and you should get this pop up. If you don't, maybe something else happens or nothing happens. This is likely because you don't have Java installed or it's not working correctly. So come back to your web browser and you want to go to java.com. Here we are, you can also just go and search for it. Click on download Java and then install the application. It's super simple. Return to Optifine, right click on it, hover over open with and click on it, choose another app. Then select Java in this list and click on always and it should then go and run like so. Then you can go and click on install like so. And by the way, if it still doesn't run, all you need to do is do something called a jar fix. We've got a video on that. Then it will go and take a moment and it will go and say Optifine is installed. Go and press OK and that's it. Now what we need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the left of the play button and then you can see the profiles and make sure you go and select Optifine. Then click play and Minecraft should go and launch. Here we are, Minecraft's now gone and loaded. And so what you can do is go and click on options. Then you can click on video settings. You'll go and notice there's quite a few more options here now. And of course, shaders. Click there. And what you can then do is click on shaders folder. You probably won't have any options here. I do as I've gone and used them before. So click here. And what we need to do is go and drag the pack in here. So what you can do is go and open up another file explorer. You can go and right click on it and then go and click on downloads or wherever your pack is. Then click hold and drag it in and you'll notice it goes and appears in this list. And so then what you can do is select it and click done. Now let's go and get into a game and we can go and see how they look. As you can see, they look absolutely insane. The clouds and you can also go and see the shadows as well. And you're going to see things starting to move as well. 